Hey guys, Carl Cooper here with OnTheBlack.com. So as most of you know by now, uh, John Garland has signed with the San Diego Padres and Ben Sheets has signed with the Oakland A's. And when thinking about those two pitchers and the teams that they've signed uh, as it relates to the New York Mets, I really got three thoughts that I just wanted to share with you guys. The first one is it seems more and more like uh, the Mets are putting a lot of stock in Oliver Perez, uh, Mike Pelfrey, and John Main having good years this year. And I don't know if I necessarily agree with that, but I have no other way to really explain how the Mets haven't signed uh, any significant starting pitching this offseason, but to think that they are going to be putting a lot of stock in those guys. We'll see uh, what they do the rest of the way here before spring training, but uh, that's my thoughts on that. Uh, you know, in terms of Maine, uh, Perez, and Pelfrey. My second thought is I'm kind of relieved that the Mets didn't get Ben Sheets. Uh, for those of you out there who watch my videos in the past, you know that I'm not a big fan of Ben Sheets. He's injured all the time, and I just kind of uh, peg him as being a soft pitcher. So I'm glad that the Mets didn't get him. You know, on, on the other hand, for those of you out there who are Mets fans who do want Ben Sheets, look at it this way. Uh, the A's signed him for $10 million for one year. Uh, if the A's don't come anywhere close to making the playoffs or if they're out of it before the trade deadline, Ben Sheets could be on the trade market. And if somehow, some way that the Mets are still fighting for a playoff spot or in a playoff contention position, they might be able to trade for Ben Sheets. So just keep that in mind as the season go on, goes on that Ben Sheets could eventually end up on uh, on the block and traded before the trade deadline. We'll see. We're away. We're far away from that. And my third point uh, is that the guy that I really want, and again, for those of you who watch my video posts know this, but the guy that I really want is still out there. And, and although he may not be ready by opening day, you know, I still think that Chin Ming Wong is a good fit for the New York Mets if he's healthy. Again, you know, his sinker ball, I think, will work well at City Field. Uh, switching from the American League to the National League and you know he's still a relatively young pitcher he can regain his confidence and could be uh, pretty effective in the National League so he's still out there let's see what the Mets do but let me know your guys thoughts and I'll talk to you soon